Hello, welcome to my new video. In this one, we will be looking into the AI Center pipeline. So as a part of the AI Center overview training course, we will be looking into some of the details around the pipelines, how to create them, and what are the information that you can find in a pipeline. So let's have a look. In the AI Center, what you see on the screen right now is the pipeline screen. So as you see on the screen, on the pipeline, you can see the following information. You can see the pipeline name, the name that you give when you are creating the pipeline, and for what package you created the pipeline, what type of a pipeline this is, the version, uh, the status of the pipeline, whether it's successful, failed, or any other, when it was created, and for how long it ran, if the status is successful. And lastly, it will also show the evaluation score. On the screen, you don't see the evaluation score because I don't have a, a latest pipeline ready, but in general, you should see the evaluation score at the end of the successful pipeline to show how how confident your model is in predicting. So these are the general information that you can see on the screen. And if you go into a selected pipeline, you can also see additional information like, um, okay, let me go here. You can also see extra information, the evaluation directory, uh, if it failed, the failure reason, the parameters, whether the GPU was enabled or not, the input directory, and few other information, which was already available in the previous screen. In addition to that, you can also see the outputs. So every pipeline will have its input and the output. Input will be your training or the evaluation data. The output will be the results. So if it's a evaluation pipeline, you can see the evaluation results as the output. You will see the Excel and few other information where you can find more details about the evaluation done. So in general, every pipeline will have an input and an output. So for the input, you will have the data set and also the different parameters. So let's see what are the information we can find when you are creating a pipeline. So in, in creating a pipelines, you can create three different pipelines. One is the full pipeline run. The other one is the train and the evaluation. Training pipeline is done to train your machine learning models. Evaluation pipeline is done to, you already have a machine learning model, but you want to evaluate to see how good it is performing on your data. So that's when we do an evaluation run. Full pipeline includes both of these. So it's a combination of the training and evaluation. So how does it get executed? It will first run the training run and then do the evaluation in the same pipeline in a sequence. So that's how it works. So it's also important to see how the screen changes when you select these different options. So let's select the training run. So the first one is you need to give a pipeline name. Can you give any name here? Yes, you can. And for the package, you need to select which package you're going to use for the training. And then you need to select the major version of that package and the minor version. So the main point to remember here is when you're using a training pipeline, it is always important to select the minor version zero. Every time you have a successful pipeline run, this you will have multiple minor versions listed here. 
but it's mandatory you always select the base version which is the zero for minor version for training pipelines this is used because we need to train it on the same data set so when we use the base version that gives us the data provided by UiPath and when we keep on training on the base version we keep on adding the new data to the same version so that you have a large data set to work on but if you use the higher versions for the minor version then you are really focusing on a smaller data set and eventually your accuracy will go down so always remember the minor version always has to be zero for training runs and here is all about selecting your training data set which you exported either from the document manager or depending on the model that you are going to train you may have the input data in your data sets and the environment variables the use of environment variables will differ depending on the model that you are using if you are using the document understanding models you may not need to use the environment variables but if you are using other models like the text classification and so on depending on the model you may need to use different variable names and values for the environment variables so that depends on the model that you are using and enable gpu is to use extra processing power for your training runs in the cloud version you can just enable it and it will figure out how much uh, hardware it needs to use on its own but in an on-prem situation this is this screen is slightly different so if you go to the UiPath Academy in the AI Center overview if we scroll down you can see how it looks like um, in an on-prem environment you will get the opportunity to change the RAM CPU and uh, storage limits as you wish so this is this screen is only available for the on-premise setup and another thing that you need to remember is when you create a pipeline you also have this option you basically get three different options one is to run the pipeline now or you can create a time-based pipeline which runs at a scheduled time or you can create a recurring pipeline so there is a difference in these two in a time-based pipeline it will run on a given date and a time but it will not rerun it will only run once at this scheduled date and time but if you select recurring you can select how you want to run this based on a schedule and on a recurring basically on a recurring schedule so that is important to remember so for every pipeline you will have these three options so these are the options that you see for a training run but if you select the evaluation run you can see it is pretty much the same thing but only this option changes for the training run it will ask for the training data set for the evaluation it will ask for the evaluation data set and if you select full pipeline run it will ask for the training and also the evaluation data set so depending on the run these are the only two options that gets changed the rest will always remain the same including how you want to run the pipeline so those are the main things that you want to remember when you create a pipeline and in a pipeline there are different uh, statuses that you need to remember one is the scheduled scheduled means it runs at a specific time using the option that we selected and it will only run once 
and there is a special privilege that you get for the scheduled pipeline so usually when you create a pipeline you cannot go back and edit the pipeline but for the scheduled ones you can always edit it before it runs because it's being scheduled and it's not run yet and when you see the status as packaging that means it's creating the docker image for basically getting things ready to get started with the execution waiting for resources is more towards waiting for the licenses to be available running is the pipeline is executing and you can you you basically need to wait until it is done to see what's the status you can either you can basically interact with the running pipeline by trying to kill it immediately in case you want to stop the pipeline execution in addition to that we have these three statuses one is a successful which says the pipeline execution was okay killed means you terminated it failed means it failed because of some reason and that information you can find in the pipeline under the machine the logs so for example if you go here i have some failed pipelines so if you go here and under the logs you can find what happened with this pipeline so you can see the error here so these are the main information that you need to know about the ai center pipeline so the structure and everything is pretty much the same it changes the options that you need to configure changes depending on the package that you want to train and depending on the pipeline mode train evaluation of full other than that everything else remains the same and uh, down here let's quickly look at these two questions so based on the information that we looked at earlier what do you think about this question which of the following are types of pipelines in ai center so we have a training pipeline we have the full pipeline and we have the evaluation so that's correct and here which status will a pipeline that didn't start the execution due to lack of available resources so it's saying what is what will be the status of a pipeline that did not start because of lack of resources so it's easy it's waiting for resources that will be the status so with that we have covered the information that we need to know for the certification around AI center pipeline thank you for listening i hope this is helpful and i'll see you in another video covering another important topic until then take care